Albert Monero says he was stuck in traffic listening to the radio. And he heard an interview with a man who built 3D printed mechanical hands. And when he got back to his lab here at the University of Central Florida, he told everybody inside he wants to be part of that. Eight weeks later, he was fitting a child for his first bionic arm, capturing the attention of a Hollywood megastar. We are gonna show you how this organization is fulfilling a really big need, how these prosthetics are helping young children, and why Monero says he can't help everybody yet. First, let's take you inside Limitless Solutions. My name is Albert Monero, and I'm the executive director of Limitless Solutions here at the University of Central Florida. This is our kind of our visual timeline of where we started kind of at that kitchen table in 2014 mm -hmm. and then fast forwarding all the way into the today and all the new work that's being done by our team. So this was the first arm? That, that was Alex's very first arm here in July of 2014. This video shows Monero. We're looking for 912 leading six-year-old Alex Pring to pick up that first arm from someone who knew a little bit about robotics. Ready? Yep. Great. Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. Each one looks the same. Actually, I think yours might be better than mine. It's a marriage of robotic technologies. Good job, Albert. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> Albert has made it so affordable. I'm probably gonna start farming out a lot of my tech work to Albert, too. <laughs> 10 years later. The only thing we ask for is glasses in this room. Okay. Monero showed us the lab that grew from his kitchen table. This is an injection molding machine, which is letting us help build the next version of the bionic arms. Starting with the design. So every family that goes through our program gets to go on our website. They have a portal login and then they will actually go through customizing their bionic arm. My background as an undergraduate was in biomedical sciences as my major. However, my minor was in studio art. And so it's not often that you can find a place that can really harness and utilize both to such a great extent. I'm going in on a um, sleeve and I'm actually just customizing my own colors on them as well. It's 3D printed. A lightweight plastic sleeve is created from a 3D printed mold like this one. Workers then piece everything together in the lab to create this, a robotic arm that helps kids who need a hand. Don't get, gotta use your thumbs and get sore every single time. Alex and other kids like him use specially developed video games to learn how to use their new hands. When they flex, we're actually reading that using electromyography. So just like the bionics arms work, the video game controller reads the muscle flex on their bicep. This is our game design team. Hey guys. This team of UCF students helps design new training games. This is kind of the layout of that game being developed where the character will be running through the level and it has to interact with certain puzzles. Mm -hmm. So that could be like a Simon Says kind of puzzle where you flex different gestures in order to engage in the world. And that's how we help reinforce their training for using their bionic arm. Got it. And I'll bet you half the time they don't realize they're training. That is the goal. So where is Alex the Iron Boy now? Well, you may not believe this, he's actually playing football here at South Lake High School in Groveland, Florida. I have had to overcome so many things, how to tackle, how to run. It's like learning how to walk again. It's a lot. He's playing football now. Yeah, I saw it in the news. He's, he's a, a linebacker. Uh -huh. He's taller than me. Um, we're so proud of him, watching him continue to grow every year, and uh, it's been such a blessing. Do you see yourself as a solution? Do you see Limitless well, Solutions limitless as a solution? Limitless Solutions, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so th that was our goal, was it, it doesn't end with just like the bionic arm or just the design work, but mm -hmm. that these can be something that grow and we can spin off into new technology. As we continue to develop our work at Limitless, the goal is to just continue to add more of those solutions into our portfolio of ways we can make new accessibility technology that's both functional and very expressive.
Be sure to subscribe to Solutionaries to see all our latest videos right here on YouTube.